Well, we all dread doing the updates on our computers, right? Or most of us, I should say. Uh, we're talking to Ed Bot today uh, about the concern we have sometimes with having to do these updates that pop up. Windows 10, especially, Ed, we've been talking a lot about lately for obvious reasons. And, uh, you know, do you feel like the quality of these updates, is it something people should be concerned about? Because, again, we dread doing these updates, but what do you think? Yeah, there are legit, there have been in the past legitimate quality issues with the Windows 10 feature updates. Microsoft was uh, delivering those on a twice a year schedule every six months. Uh, they seem to be doing basically okay. And then pretty much the wheels fell off at the end of 2018 with the, uh, the version 1809 update, which had uh, problems that were so serious that it had to be pulled from Microsoft's update servers. And it took about five or six weeks before uh, Microsoft got it back there. Now, the uh, Microsoft apologized for those errors, said they were going to go in and redo a lot of their systems to make sure that never happened again. And so we've seen in the past 18 months, a lot of that work taking place. And I think uh, I, I think some of those quality, most of those big quality issues are behind them. You know, we've seen a few uh, just this month, you know, sort of coincidentally, there was an issue with a security update that Microsoft released that they had to pull from the servers. That wasn't a case, though, of the quality of the update itself. That was a case of some third party software specifically a secure boot utility from HP that had a problem with that update. And so they pulled that and said they're going to rework on it. Uh, likewise, there, were, there was another update uh, that some people have reported problems with. But you know, when there's 900 million people running Windows 10 and you're updating all of them in a matter of days with these monthly security updates, um, you know, you're going to see some problems. But I think by and large, the major quality issues are uh, are behind us. Well, that's good to hear, Ed. But what do you think, uh, you know, about the unpleasant surprises that we have? You know, is there a, a way to keep this from happening? Yeah, I, you know, the one of the biggest complaints that people have had through the years with, with Windows 10, which is almost five years old now, is amazing to think, um, is that these uh, feature updates that came every six months were mandatory. Uh, most people, especially people running Windows 10 Home, couldn't delay those updates. And so, you know, uh, you, you would wake up in the morning, you'd turn on your computer, and uh, you'd, you know, and you'd see that Windows was installing an update, and you go, "Great, you know, I'm not going to be able to get to work now for another, you know, 30 minutes, an hour, whatever time it takes for this update to finish." So, um, over the course of the past year. Microsoft has done a number of things to eliminate those unpleasant surprises. First of all, those feature updates have become optional. They're optional updates now. And so, you know, when, it, when this update comes out next month, you can ignore it unless it's been more than a year since you last installed a feature update. So that's the one thing is that you can skip an update uh, and not have to deal with it twice a year. Uh, the second thing is that when you do choose to install an update, there's a bunch of work that happens in the background. And then you get this big notification, uh, very hard to miss, and it's brand new with this update. It gives you three choices. You can say, I want to install this update now. Uh, I want to schedule it for another time, or I want you to do it uh, overnight. And so, you know, uh, some people will choose the option to uh, install it immediately. Uh, I think the majority of people, uh, are going to choose to uh, to defer the installation, either to do it overnight or maybe to do it um, right now. But they know they're going out to lunch, and so they're you know they they say I'm going out to lunch, and this will all be done by the time I come back. Yeah, and that tends to be an option I would pick, Ed. But in this case, do you think it would actually be done by the time someone gets back from an average lunch? Yeah, you know, I mean, it depends on how fast your, you know, your, your uh, trip to the fast food place was. Um, but I did some testing of this new update. You know, it's available in a preview right now. So I, um, I pulled a half a dozen systems together here and simulated the exact experience that people are going to have when this update is, uh, is released to the public. And what I discovered 
was that the, that final phase, after it's done the, the downloading and the preliminary installation in the background, then it tells you, okay, we need to restart and finish this up. Uh, on, the, on the three modern systems that I'm using that have SSD, solid state drives in them, the uh, average amount of time that it took for the update to complete was around seven minutes. The longest was uh, about eight and a half minutes. Um, so that's pretty good. You could, you know, you, you wouldn't even need to go to lunch for that one. You could get a, uh, you know, you could just go down and, and get yourself a latte at Starbucks. Um, the, the people who are going to encounter uh, slightly longer wait times are those running older systems that don't have SSDs but are using conventional hard disks. And in my tests, I found that even there, that final uh, reboot and update phase uh, took an average of about 17 minutes, uh, so less than 20 minutes. Still pretty much within um, even even an, an aggressive lunch schedule. Um, and, you know, it's a, it's, as long as you're prepared uh, for that amount of time, it, it shouldn't be an unpleasant surprise. But I think, um, you know, if you've got an SSD, you've got enough time, uh, you can just go ahead and click the, you know, finish this update now button. But if your machine is a little older and a little slower, um, maybe, you know, let it work overnight or let it work while you're going to lunch is probably the best strategy. Uh, but for a lot of people, especially those who feel a little gun shy about these updates, maybe the best strategy of all is to wait a month or two or even three. Um, Make sure that other people have an opportunity to work out any of the issues that might be present there. Uh, and then once the coast is clear, uh, go ahead and install that update. All right, as always, some great advice uh, there for us, Ed. And if you are anticipating the next Windows 10 feature update with some trepidation, you are not alone. But fear no more, Ed's got you covered. Everything you need to know and more on ZDNet. Thanks for watching.